Good day, everyone. This is Barnman. And Elio 77. Welcome back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Saturday, October 19th, 2024. AKA Thursday, Harvest Tide. Before we get started, we neglected to do our poisoned roll yesterday. We are supposed to do those at the end of each page. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now and then we'll remember to do it at the end of the page today as well. You are doing a constitution roll, so you do get a plus two. Go ahead and roll your d20. A five. Because the result was too low, Cora reduces her health by one. Cora has many things she needs to do as she confronts the last guardian, Thornheart, bursts forth from the shrubs, commencing a frenzied assault. She violently thrashes her antlers about while emitting piercing screeches. First thing that Cora needs to do is dodge. This is a dexterity roll, so you get plus three. Your reflexes allow you to elegantly dodge the Guardian's attack, which goes wide. Next, she needs to try a strength roll. You get a plus two on this. Can you re-roll that? Thirteen. You try to block the Guardian's attack, but its immense strength overwhelms you. Reduce your health by one down to 23. Next, this is an attack roll, so you could get help from Neville Furbottom. Neville. Need a four. A two. Nineteen. Nineteen roll. That is a successful attack roll. You execute an effective counter move, disrupting the Guardian's balance and halting its attack. Next, you need to try to distract the Guardian. This is an intellect roll. You could try to have Patty assist you. You need a three or a four to start with. A three. You now need a five through nine. An eight. That's going to get you a plus two intellect, as well as your regular trait. You have a plus four. Your distraction succeeds, throwing Thornheart off course and causing its attack to veer off target. Next is a wisdom roll. You want to see if Betty and Furry can try to help? Betty. Not a four. Furry. Need a four. Not a four. This is a plus one on wisdom. That's going to be a nine. You struggle to predict its movements, resulting in a surprise attack that catches you off guard. Reduce your health by one. Next, Cora needs to defend. Do you want your defense crew to try to assist? Defense lineup, cross well, go. That's a four. You just need a seven through nine. A six. Sty, go. A two. two. Cost, go. A two. Go ahead and defend roll. This is a plus eight. Make it. You skillfully evade the attack, narrowing escaping harm. Next, you need to flee. You're just running away. Let's go ahead and do a constitution roll. You can try to have Emmy assist. Emmy. You just need a three or a four to start with. A four. Now you need a four through a nine. A two. Oh, come in. Okay. Uh, that's damage, unless, okay. An eight. That's going to get you a D4. Go ahead and roll your D4 for a constitution bonus. And what is that? Just a one? Okay, so it's plus three altogether. Roll your D20. Lucky. And lucky. Sixteen. The Wendigo continues a close pursuit despite your attempt to escape. Lastly, Cora turns around and pleads her case to the last guardian. We need that 
new seed for the tree of seasons because the old one died because of that terrible king Wraithet. All right, this is a charisma roll. You are going to get a plus three, and you can re-roll if needed on regal influence. It's a two. You might work. Ooh, a four. You can re-roll one last time. A ten. Twelve. You speak to the guardian, but it continues to attack. Reduce your health by one. Oh, man. Well, she did a lot better than it could have been. She's only down to 21. Do you want to see if Eagle can try to heal in the midst of this? Eagle healing. A four. You just need a nine. Five. Five. Well, Cora has confronted Thornheart, pled her case, and now we will see what takes place tomorrow. At, well, what takes place next week, I guess. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow will be the highlight, though. We'll see what uh, was the highlight moment for the week for Elio, and we'll try our best at Sunday Lottery. Maybe up that amber a little bit more. But first, we gotta see if we're poisoned. Let's find out if we're poisoned. This is a constitution roll. Now, we did get uh, added constitution from Emmy. Emmy earlier, and that was a... How much? Was it a one? I think it was a one, so you have plus three. Roll again, that's on the edge. Ten. If the result is 10 or less, reduce your health by one. It is a reduction down to 20 health. We got to become unpoisoned as soon as we can. By resting. Well, hopefully there'll be a rest coming up next week. Farewell. We'll see you tomorrow for the highlights. Bye.